any second now. All right, <laughs> we're live. Welcome back, everyone. It's good to be back. Ranked Hoops 2v2 $100 tournament tonight. We've got Ren Shiro and Finchy against a team I've never seen before. They've never been here before. They confirmed it with me moments ago. They're gonna be playing against one of the hardest teams in all of Ranked Hoops. Best of luck to them. Let's see what they got, what they're made of. Oblivion and Random. Gonna be on the blue side, already defending against this. Finchy. Look at how smooth his transition was after uh, recovering on that back wall. Just continued the pace, but the ball now just going to sit here in the middle of the court. Let me update the overlay. I don't know why it always does that first game of the day. It always says it's a best of seven, no matter what I do. But uh, this first game is best of three. That's looking real complicated, though. That gut instinct to fly into the air, I knew immediately that was a mistake. That's the least hoops thing we've seen so far. Otherwise, this team looks really good. But to any Hoops player there would go up the back wall, either go into reverse or use power slide and do a 180 half flip. One of those things. Nice use of the wall here from Finchy. Oh, he's set up here too, but he's just a little bit slow. Not enough gas to get there. But the threaten sometimes is good enough. Nonetheless, Team Metallic 9. That's such a great team name. The Metallic Nine. Sounds like a, I don't know. Uh, save needed. Finchie's got it. it. Sounds like Superhero Squad. <laughs> Something like that. It's pretty sweet, though. Push to the side here for Renshiro. Does an unthreatening bounce off the sidewall. Finchie is in the bluest car <laughs> for Orange Team. That's not going to be confusing at all. Instead, oh, it's saveable. Ren Shiro will get the credit for the save, or, or not, actually. The game just said, I didn't, I didn't see a save. Don't know what you're talking about. Rounds UG will maintain that one goal lead. Here comes a shot. And it's just off the front of the net. Finchy knew it. Takes that time to go gather the boost rather than panicking. Good read so far. Ren Shiro lets his opponent go right overhead. He's going to dribble here. Goes for the flick. Should be stoppable. Still enough boost to make the block. It's looking dangerous, though. It goes up and over. So does Finchy. He'll back it up to Renshiro. Block is going to go all the way up and over. Finchy is in a great spot here to catch this. Gives it to Renshiro, but he is nowhere to be found. He went forward for boost on the side, and no read there from Finchy will deflect that one in. That is like three or four mini mistakes that culminated in a goal for the blue team. Usually these small mistakes, they, they can pile up like that, but usually it's just like you lose a big boost pad or a car gets bumped all the way across. Something that doesn't matter so much. I turn my microphone off, guys. Let me know if that uh, the volume is better. Let me know if the balance is good. That's going to be <laughs> Finchy going soaring past the ball. Oh, Red Shear will get the dunk, though, from the backboard. Yeah, Finchy goes screaming past. So he's just going to retreat, but Red Shiro holds the line. I guess random there having no boost. Had to expect that Finchy had something on the play. He was going to be able to touch it, so Random was taken completely out of the play, and that let Renshiro get even closer. We'll call it a tactical fake. Renshiro's on the dribble off the ceiling here. He can shoot this anywhere. Takes it right behind Random. Is that savable? By the time Renshiro shoots it, it looks real bad, right? There's a backflip there, right? There's definitely a potential diagonal backflip to hit it into the rim. But you'd have to just exactly know where that's going to go. React at a moment's notice. Not to mention uh, the ping here. Not against the blue team, but against the orange. So that it does affect all players. Renshiro and Finchy, you kind of have to um, anticipate that they're like a tenth of a second in front of where they actually are. We don't have to deal with that as spectators, but the players on both sides certainly do. Uh, not the catch that uh, Random was hoping for there. It's going to be Oblivion backing up, trying to block this from Renshiro. Oh, it skims in. Wow, four to one now. Around GG. What a move. He gets one more touch here, hitting it off the diagonal. Oblivion is just a little bit too high up after getting that corner boost. Panic side flips is just not enough to stretch to get it. Maybe it's saveable as well from the last defender who had low boost. But you'd have to get the, just the perfect read. Speaking of reads, <laughs> it just sinks in as well. The corner's being extra tricky tonight on the block. Oblivion just a send for him. 
acted like he was going to double touch it. Renshiro had to take that threat seriously, so he just rushes for it. Two to four, still. Metallic Nine in this. They still got a couple of minutes here to bring this back. No reset there. Instead, just a shot. That's going to go off the front of the rim. That means Finchy and Renshiro might set something up here. It's going to bounce up where Finchy is just going to be a little late. You can see how Renshiro and Finchy recognized that was a huge mistake. Bouncing it off of the front of the net. That's a scary one, too. Renshiro kind of known for those really solid double touches, but this time it fails him. A save needed. That's a double commit on defense, and now someone's stranded on the rim. It's taken him forever to get off. Had to burn some boost, I think, for it as well, and now he's panicking. Oblivion, though, on the back wall, should have all kinds of contest on this. Giving it right down to his teammate. Popping it up, though, and that's going to be a demo. Renshiro can just dribble this all the way home. Nobody's left. Really good timing on that demo. That panic touch here just sets Renshiro up perfectly. And Renshiro, I didn't even notice. But from the corner of Renshiro's eye, he could see his opponent flying or driving underneath him to go gather the corner boost. So he just knew all he had to do was put that in. Just guarantee it and it's in. Reset here. It's just off to the side. A panic send though. Here comes Finchy for the shot. Random is still there, but it's just him for a second. Him and Oblivion double commit. Finchy just waiting here. Steals the boost. Goes in for round two. Double tap. Sends it down. But what a save here. I think that was random. In the right spot at the right time. Recognizing the line that Finchy was going to drop it at. Finchy's here again for the dribble. Renshiro's up above. Looked like they were going to threaten some sort of passing play. But Renshiro will get back in time. Sending it to Oblivion on the dribble. He needs a bump or something. Almost makes contact with Renshiro. That's so close. The pass though. Not going to happen. You can see the line though. Renshiro, if he boinks that up, Finchy is just ready to go with a full tank. Just a dribble here from Oblivion, a little bit slow. Instead, it's random. Attempting the pass, Renshiro will take it away from the 45. The low shot here from Finchy lands! Bullseye! We got a sniper on the court from the halfway mark. Really, not a lot of speed needed, but... Just keeping it low gave it all kinds of power. It's certainly six to be Metallic Nine right now. No friendships. That will flop sideways. Renshiro with the touch back to Oblivion on the back wall. He's still dribbling this, but Finchy gets it right around him, hoping that Renshiro can finish this. But maybe the boost victory in the uh, corner was the real victory. Nonetheless, Rounds GG closing this one out with power. Oh, one more. One more for the road. That goes game number one, the first game of the night. We've got 4-4-5 four, four, in this tourney. Uh, who was Danny teamed with? I saw that a second ago. Danny and Taibu, and then Manny and Enforcer. And <laughs> there was a team named Forfeit7. And uh, they DQ'd. <laughs> so true to their name. Never heard of either of those players. We're going back to the dunk house. Yeah, this blue car is throwing me off. We've got an imposter. Right to Renshiro. Oh, you know he wants to dribble. He's going to reset this one. Keep it low. Chips it around to the corner. Nobody's left. Got it past the last defender on the tip off. Is it possible for Oblivion to get back in time? He's flipping over to the corner boost, gets the mid boost, maybe, right? If he goes straight there and just flips the whole way, recognizing the danger, maybe, just maybe, but it's bad. He'll have to continue to defend that on basically nothing. Well, he'd have like uh, maybe two pads, like 24. It's not the end of the world. You could hold onto the ball long enough to get your teammate involved. Random's gonna keep things here on the orange half. They're already down a goal as Renshiro's dribbling, looking for a second. Oblivion swipes it sideways, but Renshiro swipes the boost. Now it's random. Maybe pushing it a bit too far. He has to rely on a 50, but Renshiro will make sure it never happens. Nice boost take there from random, though. Oblivion to the sidewall, right to Finchy. He just sends it. Looking for the passing line. Random lands on it. It's Oblivion retreats as Renshiro here. Not the dribble he was hoping for, I imagine. He wanted to go much higher. But Finchy getting that demo will still buy some time here for the offense. Off the net, 
French here looking for two off the 45, pinching it sideways. Should be easy enough for the defense to handle, but maybe too easy as they double commit. Both thinking they had the right of way. Oblivion trying to force 50s. French here again, making sure that 50 comes afterwards. That gives him a huge advantage, and now he's off to the dribble again with the reset. What can he do with this? Just takes a shot. It's almost off the rim, but it will get saved away. It goes back over to Finchie. Scary shot. No, Oblivion's out of it. Looks like Oblivion expected his teammate to be able to dribble that one out, and it's close. Random here. Super close to being able to get back to the back wall to hit it again to the side. Where Oblivion would be. But maybe just not the right flip, not the right control, I don't know. It feels like it's possible, though. Doinks over Finchie's head. He's going to turn on this. Gives it right to random, though. That is an orange trail somehow coming off of Finchie's car. He's going to turn on this. Gets nailed here. Blasted by Oblivion. Renshiro just fakes it up. He wants to pass back. Can't find the way there. Finchie will turn on this one. Send it long distance. Oblivion goes up for it to answer the call. But he is late for the second. Ooh, random goes right past it too. Renshiro turns on it. A demo comes out. One of the defenders removed. He will respawn right in the heat of it. Here's random again. Rolls it up. Should be easy enough there for Finchie. He's going to have to read this. Oh, he decides to just go for it. Here comes Renshiro for the kill. Lots of speed there. What? So Random gets the full tank and then puts himself into a bad spot, not recognizing it was going to be a pass, but I, I don't blame him. I mean, I thought Finchie was going to try to get the read as well, in which case the backboard might be the right play. Love to see the passing lines. Finchie, jeez. He's attempted like three or four passes tonight. That was the first one successful, but feels like one goal makes it all worth it. Finchie right now is doing so good at just playing keep away. Doing what he can to set Renshiro up. Sometimes you let your opponent set your uh, teammate up there. Just by threatening. Oblivion's going to get past Finchie, though. We'll take the ball again. Just one touch as a shot. It's a little bit too low. Random wants to turn on this for the setup. Renshiro blocks him. He read that so far in advance. Gets one more touch for his efforts. And now it's launched high into the air. Finchie and Renshiro definitely controlling the ball a lot better. That's going to be Renshiro with one, two more touches. It's just out. Not just controlling the ball better, they're controlling the entire court. Stealing away all the boosts, whichever boost they want. The setup here. Gonna go unanswered. Nice chain wave dash, though. And I see you over there, random. It's gonna get the block on the Finchie. Oblivion underneath gets it past. No boost, though, to finish it, so he's gonna steal away the corner boost. Looking for the pass. Is it there? That's so close. Oh, I love the idea. Kind of getting desperate. That's a crazy pinch, though. Oblivion has nothing left to try to get that. Still down three goals here in the final 90. Renshiro sends it back to Oblivion, the low shot, answered by Fiji. To Renshiro again, he's around one. Doesn't see the blocking line. And it's down to Fiji. he is bumped. So now, Random can take this all the way across. Couple of touches here, looking for the third, it's so close. Those are super hard to land. It looked like he was going to go for a reset at first, and I, I I couldn't see a way through. But it's going to be Renshiro instead, using the ceiling to dribble through all the way to the net. 4-0. to zero. This game feels like it's completely insured for them. Wow. That dribble is so good. The uh, defender there just trying to throw the hitbox in the way of the straight line. And instead, Renshiro goes behind him, using the backboard to double tap it in. Renshiro's looking real fine right now. Lots of good control. And Vinci's happy to set him up. Oh, <laughs> two players bonk at the corner. Vinci will get a touch, setting Renshiro up again. He's going to drop it down. Vinci looked like he wanted to redirect that, but it will see some defensive interference. And instead, Renshiro will put it right back. All five goals here for Renshiro. If Vinci won't set him up, the other team will. 5 to nil. Yeah, Renshiro just cracked a thousand points. I love that tip-off he's doing. Uh-oh. 
No, no, no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you hate to see it. Happens to the best of us. All our best goals. Our own goals, of course. That is so sick, too. I wish I could do that intentionally. Um, Where was I? Oh, yeah, the tip-off. Where you hit it with your wheels. So, Finchie and Rinchiro definitely know who is supposed to go on this tip-off. But when they're facing off against a friendship tip-off, they send the opposite person. That's super interesting. Wonder if there's any science to that. Or if it's just like, well, you gotta send somebody. You might as well give the back person more boost. Uh, Finchy getting that one from all the way across the court, having all kinds of time to get there. Thanks to the boost situation. Looks like we're still waiting on another game from the quarterfinals to finish up before our match is ready. <laughs> Jeez, 8-0. I feel like the, uh, the move now is to own goal twice. Okay, Danny and Taibu are moving on. So it's gonna be, the next match is Danny and Taibu versus Manny and Enforcer. Let's see if we can get in the notes, er, in the uh, game on a high note here for Metallic 9. If they get a goal here, that'd feel at least a little nice. I'm sure you lost the uh, the game, but you got something for your efforts instead. It's gonna what a save! That was a sick save. Random just gonna keep that one out for the time being. Finchie is just turtling and spinning, and it will tap down. GGs round rounds. GG. <laughs> we'll move forward to play against four four five. That is a devastating and hefty. Let me make sure that it's uh, Ian and Panda. Yes, sir. Ian and Panda in the lineup. Heavily favored to win the tournament. Maybe Rounds GG can take him down early, though. That would be a crushing defeat, to say the least. Anyway, guys, we'll be right back with the semifinals first match. Danny and Taibu versus Manny and Enforcer. Just going to take me a minute or so to get things set up and get the players into the lobby as soon as that is finished. We will resume. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.